In this tutorial we're going to apply what we've learned in this module by using visual design to improve how this e-learning lesson is going to be presented to our learners. Now, based on what we've learned in this module, we know that visual design is an important element of, of learning and presenting content to learners. It should be consistent throughout the lesson. It also it should also promote the uh, the learners. It should also allow the learners to focus on important information within the lesson. And so, as we work through these exercises, keep that in mind that we are we're trying to create a learning environment that is easy to learn in, and that students feel comfortable with using, and that the visual design actually enhances the learning that comes out of the lesson. So the one thing we first want to do is look at some visual themes. We in PowerPoint we have the ability to modify visual themes and to in order to get to that we want to open up the master slide view again so we're going to select the view tab and then go to slide master. This should be consistent for for us by now. And there's actually a section here that says edit theme and if I were to select that you'll notice that there are a lot of themes that have been uh, built into this particular part of the application. Now these are themes that are used for, for presentations and, and many of us are probably familiar with using those. You'll also notice that this first theme that is listed at the top of the presentation is kind of a snapshot of what we've been working on thus far. And so um, this is kind of an important thing to know that if you had multiple themes you could quickly choose and swap between those uh, using this tool. You'll also notice that there's a color palette where there's a variety of pre-populated colors. There's also a fonts palette where you can select and determine the fonts that you'd like to use in your lesson. And then finally there's an effects palette which um, modifies the visual presentation of some of the elements in there using a variety of effects such as 3D or, or shadowing effects and things of that nature. We'll actually use that very in a very limited way, but you'll, we'll actually do that at a very specific uh, elements of the of the screen. We won't use that uh, across the board like what we're going to focus on here. So now, one one of the first things I want to focus on is the use of color within an e-learning lesson, and this can this can be a major um, a major consideration for e-learning de designers. You learn about uh, how colors can uh, convey different messages. There's a tool that I'd like to share with you here. It's called Cooler, and it's made from Adobe. It's k u l e r dot adobe dot com, and what this this website is about is people can go in and create custom uh, color palettes. And so as you go through, you can uh, you can navigate through and see some of the different color palettes that have been created that people have used. Now some are good, some are bad, and you know not all of them are going to be applicable to what necessarily you want to convey, but there, it does give you a starting point and an idea to begin to build from. So what I'm going to do is actually um, select one of these color palettes, and notice that the, the colors then change. If I were to select this little settings option, the screen changes, and I have the ability to uh, to get some of the the uh, the hex codes, which are the color codes that are that are used to do that. So this uh, I wanted to share this tool with you because it's a great um, it's a great tool to be able to select color palettes from. You also can uh, begin to select different methods of presenting that information, such as analogous, monochromatic, triad, and so on. So it gives you some some pre-populated options within that. I'm going to switch back to PowerPoint here, and so we're actually going to use some of um, uh, some some of the color palettes that are already here. You can you can customize them to your to your own needs and and desires. But you'll notice that as we scrub through, it's actually going to kind of modify uh, the the theme of it uh, in real time, so you can get a good idea of maybe the the theme that you would like to use in your course. And remember, we want something that's going to be pleasing to look at. Um, the learner will need to probably look at this lesson and, and read from it in an effective way. Uh, so nothing, nothing too bright and nothing too, um, uh, too pronounced in in that way. So um, what I'm going to do is select. I'm going to select this one right here. And the colors may not be exactly what I want. And if if that's the case, I can actually select uh, select that tool again and go down here to create new colors. And notice that those that those colors are are selected there for me. So, just for for a demonstration, I'm going to leave it there because this is going to be uh, just fine to work with. Now I want to take a look at the font. So if I select the font tab and I begin selecting some, I can I can choose between serif and sans serif fonts. And again, I I want to match the theme to to the um, 
so I'm not going to mix serif and sans serif font. So I'm going to choose this for Dana for, for both. And it's a good readable font, especially delivered uh, via computer screen. And even though we do have the theme, the effects option here, I'm actually going to uh, not use that at this point. So w what I've done here is I've customized the visual color scheme of the lesson from a system-wide perspective. Now, what I also want to do is actually adjust how some of this content, uh, some of the elements of the screen are presented as well. So, if I select this, this text area, I really don't want uh, black text. So, what I'm going to do is select the, the color picker here. I'm going to choose that, select white for that. And I'm also going to go into the format tab and select the text effect and add a slight shadow to that. And what that's going to do is add a little bit of contrast to, to where the title will appear. All right, I'm also going to go here and uh, just for, for now go ahead and, and style this as a, uh, in a different color. I'm going to go ahead and choose, um, let's choose a light blue for that. just to kind of set that apart and we'll we'll keep that color scheme there. Now for the for the main borders of this particular lesson, I'm interested in maybe stylizing those a little differently than what they are here. So I can either choose the the theme uh, the shape styles option where I can scrub through and again it will uh, kind of modify that for me. And that's actually a a good color there. I think I'm going to use that. And I'm going to go down here and select that one as well for the for the footer. So I have kind of a consistent look and feel there. Then the other thing I want to do is is adjust the theme of this. Now as I look, I really don't see anything that I want to to use there. Those are all a very uh, pronounced colors, and they actually kind of get in the way of what I want to do. So what I'm going to do here is custom modify this. So within the fill area. I'm going to select a very light gray. And then in the outline, I'm actually going to choose no outline. Now I noticed that as I did this, the uh, I actually want to send this this uh, the background of the navigation area to the back of the display palette. So if I I can select that and then go to a line. Actually, I go to send send backwards and I can go send to back. And what that does is that send it all the way to the back and it kind of helps to uh, set that apart. Now I have a problem here on the screen. Um, the one thing I, I did is when I changed the colors here, there's not very much contrast within these. So I'm actually going to go back and re-modify that so that it does a better job of blending with the color scheme of the lesson. So I'm going to go ahead and select, uh, we'll select this dark, uh, this dark blue here. And again, this is easy to modify. Oh. Looks like I have something down there I need to get rid of. Okay. Now, if I wanted to actually add an outline here, I'm going to test and see what that looks like. That would actually be good. I'm going to select that, but I'm also going to make the weight of the line a little less. That helps to make a little definition between the navigation area and the content area. Okay, so what I've done so far is I've I've modified the the global visual themes of the lesson. Now I want to go and look at some of the more specific elements. Oh, I have the, the the buttons here that are that I've set up before, and the default theme has modified their their color. So what I'd really like to do is go and make sure that it really is the color that I that I want. And I'm going to show you a really cool trick here. Um, I could I could choose the, uh, the some of the th styles that are in here, but I, I really am not not too keen on any of those. So what I'd like to do is actually go in and change the shape fill. And I'm going to adjust this to a, a nice gray first. And I'm going to go in here to gradient. I'm going to choose more gradients. And gradient is a way of, of actually a, a, an advanced way of adjusting the color palette on there. I'm going to choose the gradient fill. And then within the, the, the color scheme, I'm going to adjust some elements here and modify those for, for my use. Adjust all these into the into the same palette type. I'm going to choose here to no line. I'm going to go ahead and close that out. Now I want to also add a nice uh, style there, and I also I'm going to go ahead and add just a small 
outline for this for this button just to add a little definition to to the style okay now so once I've set that style up for that one button there's an easy way and this is the cool part to transfer those styles across to those to those buttons in a very quick way so what I've done is I've selected that particular button I'm gonna go here to the home tab and I'm going to double click on the format painter option and what I'm gonna do is click on that and when I click on those other buttons it automatically applies all the styles to those buttons so I'm just going through the rest of these here and go ahead and, and updating that in a very quick and efficient manner I missed one there. Go ahead and update that. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and close out of my master view. And now notice that when I go in to the lesson, I have that updated, all the styles are there, and I'm ready to begin with adding content to my lesson.